Okay, so what's up guys? In today's video, I'll talk about horse breeding and stuff. And yeah, okay, let's get right into this. So, basically on my island, like you saw in the previous video, I'm right now making a horses. So, basically, um, so what I have right now is I have maximum tier island, of course. And then, so here I breed my direwolves and stuff, so whenever I do tier 8 skinning, um, whenever I have a pop or whatever, I put them down here, and then I breed them. So but then uh, here is basically just leveling up for leveling purposes. I usually use 4 or 5 maximum to get to 100 and stuff, masteries. So what you do is you just place small things here that you can see. So basically there is like big ones and the small ones. So the big ones already are good and stuff. So sometimes I don't like I don't get anything out. Sometimes I get like these things. So of course like if you water or whatever you always usually will get. Um, the calves or whatever sometimes you will not get them either way so basically what happens is whenever you put you hand you can nurture them the higher mastery is the lower it's all uh, the lower focus cost and then whenever you have food so i'll show you so whenever like so that's why i have also two food plantings or whatever that's too much so uh so yeah here is the thing so what we do is we can just take them out. You can see my payment stuff. So I pick them up, and so how you want you how you can feed them. So now you can see the time. Usually, if you would be really smart, you wouldn't do this. But what I usually do, if I see 24 hours, I just shift click, and then you can see food is for 24 hours. It's only need 21 hours. If you ask me, like if you don't put enough food, it will just stop at whatever timer it is. You'll need to put more food, so this time should be the same as that time, if you want the best efficiency. So what I should have done is like put only 5 and 6 and see how much there would be. So yeah, and then, yeah, you just right now pick it up and then you can saddle them. As well as um, grow again and stuff, so that's really good. Like for, for now, again I need to feed this, so I'm right now feeding it. Then I pick them up. So yeah, that's basically, so basically what I would suggest to anyone is to have two these things, either way grow horses or oxes. So have these two plots for only for them. And uh, everything else have food, so I have other island that has two more food plots, so basically I have four food plots. That my alt usually waters them, while he has premium or whatever, so I usually take it. Um, so I have always almost two, two seeds, sometimes one, but usually two, so I like seed again everything, sell the seeds and uh, use these cabbages for uh, feeding horses and stuff. Because yeah, I'm purely right now making not because of the money or whatever, I know that money isn't the best as a new uh, horse breeder, but like, so you can see I'm a food, I'm a potion maker 100 and food maker 100 and then I want my uh, horse breeding of territory 100 as well. So what you do is come to this, of course the higher tier the more you can do, and right now if I would have 20 leather I could settle them, and either way sell them or do whatever and then so here's also rare mount there's a second option that if there would be higher tiers you would see that i can create five ones and six ones and what they usually is i need um better calf or whatever so not normal horse but uh, like a, a special horse that i can also as well settle so um whenever you put focus for example if i would right now put my all my focus 35 percent yes so if you always had a question and didn't answer it always um, you cannot get the horse back, you can only, so that 35% is only on leather. So I would not recommend till tier 7 use, using a focus on horse breeding, only after tier 7. Because yeah, you don't, there isn't a chance to get horse back or whatever, it's only your materials. And of course in your island I wouldn't suggest to do that, because it's like 50% lower, so just go to Kerlian. Use the 5% fee or whatever, and settle them there. And stuff so yeah that's basically that thanks for watching guys hope you enjoy as well as I would say usually like whenever you right now start and just want to place those um, uh, in pastures you want to place those falls and stuff you what you can do either way check the hair prices if they are lower so 40,000 I bought them for five or ten thousand each so you can get a lot cheaper and you don't always need to buy them from this place like for three million in one horse and they're selling like for two million so basically that's that. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoy. Click like if this was helpful. Um, let me know for future more videos and stuff. And um, see you guys in the next one.
Peace.